Hello, and welcome back to the New World Iron Man Challenge on the Fresh Start server. Uh, this is episode 6, and we are right where we left off. I'll show you on the map so we can uh, get everybody up to speed here. We're in Monarch's Bluff, and we're doing the main storyline still. Um, I also found out that in Everfall, there's going to be three quests. And at level 17, I think they open up. There's one here, one in town, and one there. And they unlock your uh, factions. So if you want to join the factions, we'll be doing that. I'll shoot for that. We'll see. I'd like to get it done as soon as possible. And then we can start doing faction-related issues as well. But no faction gear. So we're going to go up here and grab this, uh, this shrine and go to this. Looks interesting. So, zoom back out. And away we go. Ooh, look at this. It's very nice. Wasn't here. It was all gone when I, uh, when I left. Came back on. Always can use the fiber. A nice little bonus for us. And there's a chest there. Very interesting. Um, as far as video quality goes, see the writing up in the top hand? I should be able to, uh, ideally, oh, he's not going to like it that I'm picking his fiber, is he? Oh, he didn't, he didn't get too upset. That's a big overhand. There we go. Oh, and he's got a shield. That's always fun. There we go. We Staggered him back with a large overhand. I'll have to get in the habit of doing that to him. To stagger them so that their shield drops. But that text, when I'm running around, I'd, I'd like it to be as clear as it is in the game. And I don't know if it's a, a, a YouTube type uh, side issue where the processing and the, the how they process, process the video to make it a high definition video. Um... But I'm attempting to do it. I, on my end, it's uh, the video is very, very clear, even in a review. But the upload of it is uh, not as clear as I wanted it to be. And I've been reviewing the videos and adding timestamps and chapters. So here we go. Let's see where we're going here. What did we get? Milk. Very useful. We need so much. Right, grab that. That. And I've never been here. Never been up this way. Played for hundreds of hours. Very tempting to go. What is that? No. Is it one? I don't... I'm trying to see, but... How many flint do we have on it? Sometimes they'll just pick up flint or chop down a tree to find out how many we have versus going like that and looking that way. This is interesting. Well, they definitely want us to come take a look at this, don't they? Is that an alligator? Uh-oh. Hmm. Mr. Deliverance, level 38. And he just walks by. He could have helped us out. What was he? Hmm. A marauder. What do we got? Pick that up. Well, we'll try to pick this up. Sometimes it'll target the thing in front of you. And in his haste, did he or did he not? Did he find everything? Could they actually do something nice and hide something in there? You can always do this. Crawl lowly. They should have definitely hid something in there for me and Mr. Deliverance would have missed it. But no. I'm looking for the blue. There's the blue beam of light, barely visible. I can kind of peek. Oh, I peeked on that side, and I, sure enough, we're going to open up with our... That puts us in offensive stance. I didn't pay attention as well as I should there. I was looking for the stance indicator. The stance indicator, and... Yep, now we're back in normal mode. I guess I can look on the bottom there, too, but the uh, icons on the bottom... 
they mix around a lot and are not in the same exact order, so I just have to get used to looking. Oh, where are we doing? There it is. There's probably something over there, too. Oh, well, we can't pass. Oh, we can't pass this up. Oh, we got it just barely in time. It looks like that other guy is a ranged, uh, a ranged character. Oh. Oh, he's a shaman. He was doing interesting things, but we picked that up just in time. Here's a little bonfire. And that should unlock it. We'll walk away for a second. And it's unlocked. Unlocked is bright yellow, as opposed to white like that. We could run way over there, but for one chest, I don't think I will. Oh, these guys look upset. Ooh, this chest is a bigger chest. It's a stockpile, I believe. And then there's another one of those shamans. The shaman actually spotted us before this guy did. Ugh. And the shaman got confused and sent a lightning bolt off that way. Now, because they didn't hide something last time... Ooh, we got a schematic for a... What? Maritime, so you can get a look at what it actually is. We'll learn this one real quick. No problem. But this, it'll actually show you a picture when you learn it. Looks like a chair in there, but Velvet's Captain's Bed. Seems like a good item. Well, that's fancy. I've never seen that before. Different areas. Um, I'm under the impression, I, from what I've seen, different areas will do, drop different things. So again, that's a way to entice players to spread out. Instead of staying in the same, let's say you hit 60, and then all of a sudden there was two or three zones where that's the only place you would be enticed to go to. I think we got that out of a uh, a better one of those better chests. Is there one over here? Hmm. Oh, I didn't initially want to look, but that... that furniture pattern was kind of nice. Oh, we've got a, another territory ranking. Um, there's houses you can buy in town and different tiers, tier 1, 2, 3, and 4. The tier 4, it allows for four chests to be put in it, and which each increase your storage levels so you can store more stuff. And you need so much storage, uh, and in an Iron Man challenge, you need even more storage. I've had every um, city unlocked, and almost every one of them was full to the brim with things. I had each uh, city with their own specific uh, things to put them in. So bright wood would have wood in it. Different places just made sense to me, and then I would put those items in there and then take them back out as needed. Um, what you couldn't, and they should do, is add the ability to label. Give your give the town a special note or label. I want that uh, provision crate, but I think this guy's going to get upset if I take it. Let's see if I can stagger him back. Nope, he actually blocked that time. And there we go. Oh, he kind of let out a dying breath. Oh, but there is. Oh, we got a recipe for boiled potatoes. We got the other note. Open up with a big overhand. How close are we to our great sword? Pretty far yet. We're going to switch over to the... And they wouldn't allow us to jump all the way up here and not. Oh boy, very close to falling. Jump over that, grab on. Oh, I did not want to go up there, but can we hop up? Yes. And nothing down here. Um, One thing they've done, I think a little bit better in the, uh, well, a lot of things better, but um, 
in Brimstone Sands, there seems to be quite a bit of hidden things. Now, I could be just missing that, but it seems to be the case. We should be a good chance. Oh, and... Oh, was he... I don't know, maybe he was just randomly throwing, but uh, he got my attention. Okay, the hatchet. About to get another uh, little bonus, so we'll take a look what that gets next. So we've unlocked the uh, shrine. Oh, he's not looking our way, so let's see if we can get sneak by him. The higher level you are, it's easier and easier to sneak by a creature. If you were level one out here trying to sneak by these guys, he might see you from that far over and decide, you know what, this is a fight that he wants to take. Let's see if there is a... We're going to do Berserk mode. And... <laughs> He's using that shield. Come on, drop it. Drop it. There you go. Ooh. We'll take the ever, uh, ever... Oh, right there. Being guarded by an alligator. Mr. Siltba. Well, you know, he wants to come over here. I'll slowly back away. I'll throw it right in his face. Not too shabby. Maybe he had, uh, what did he have on that was slowing him down? Some scales? Maybe he was stuck in the water a little bit? Who knows? He did not seem too uh, eager to get to us. And rightly so. Hmm, where are we going now? I'm looking up at the uh, at the top there, and it's kind of circled around. We kind of had to couldn't we couldn't walk right through this deep water. And I'm going to try to avoid that guy while testing my ability. Oh, that was unacceptable! That first miss. We definitely need feathers for the project boards mainly. Um, so that we can get the town, the town to buy a tier four house, you need to be have the zone up to level thirty. And it's not as bad as you might think to get it there. Aha! So, anything hidden? Well, look at that gas. Are we heading there? I think we may be heading there. I've never been there. It's a big castle. There's pigs out here. Is there anything else out here that we'd want? Maybe. But let's take a look what we can do to our hatchet. We really don't need that. It would be nice to get this. Um, What else could we get? Increased critical hit chance of all melee attacks. Now, I think that's only the one when you have it out, so it wouldn't increase our melee Attacks on the other thing. Range, nice. Base attacks deal 20% more damage to targets below 30, so it's kind of like a finisher. Um, after three on the same target, gain in power, granting 20% damage increase for 30 seconds. Not bad, a little booster. I'm going to improve, oddly enough, we'll, we're going to improve that to, to make sure we can get this. And it's going to take a few more things in here. I think it won't let us in we, until we unlock a few things, but we'll see. Oh, we got, oh, look at that. Is that one of those big chests? Mr. Fox has lost his zapping that guy down from a distance. Good job. But we both want this stockpile because it has a chance to drop the good stuff. What do we get? Oh, a great sword of the soldier. That's a Probably a good item. We don't dodge. It's way better. Everything about it's better. We're going to discard that like we were never using it. We'll get rid of that. And that. And that. Constitution. Heavy armor. Maybe we'll keep that. Because we're trying to have a constitution, a heavy armor constitution set. Um, we might end up inadvertently 
becoming the tank if the tank dies uh, in Amran Excavation. That's going to be the first one. And they suggest we go in there at 25. I might go in there a little bit later. Yeah. I don't know. Here we are. This is a the potion moment pouch. Of, I don't know what defenses this tower possesses, but it is clearly well fortified. And Lochner has undoubtedly taken precautions. I would expect heavy resistance. <sighs> Your courage is unquestionable. Thank you. I will defend this position what? to ensure none come to the castle's defense, and that Lochner oh does boy. not escape. This uh, sword, if we get villains, it, it'll destroy that damn do more damage. And reclaim the crown. I look forward to your triumphant return. Okay, you look forward to that. Um, this one will generate more hatred. So if I'm uh, if I end up tanking, that will actually help with. Da uh, with with uh, threat, and that means uh, more creatures will be attacking me. Interesting. I'll accept it. Oh boy. Can I, um... I'm a little bit concerned. I, here's the thing. We've ran pretty far. I don't want to have to run all this way back again, so what I'm going to do is, instead of using somebody else's, uh... somebody else's camp, we're going to use my own. And it doesn't let me build here because we're too close to the landmark. But it'll let me it look. It'll let me build there. Otherwise, you could just build right up by the front door. That's kind of kind of weird. So I make you build it a little bit farther away. We're just gonna peek up here and see what this is about. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. Let's see what we can get here. Very cool. So, that might be the thumbnail for the video. We'll give it a shot. And we're going to back the camera back out. Um, I guess some people actually like it zoomed in and playing that way. But I want to see what's up around me. I want to see what's coming up behind me. I want to get a better view. Oh, what is this? We'll just knock him down. A pikeman. Well, he didn't get a chance to use it. I kind of wanted to see what he was going to do with that. It would, like, shove me back. Oh, this is a nice drawbridge. They've kind of got a moat, too, here, yeah. Even though it's basically water, but the moat effect is there. Oh, what is that? We're going to peek over here and see if we can... Oh, those are... Those are elite alligators. Very tempting. Maybe we'll get one on the way out. Here we are. Let's take another look. Hmm. We'll zoom in. Yes, a nice view, but not as uh, not as good as that other one. It has different things to it. Ooh. We're in the front door. There's something hiding behind the doors. No. Uh, he's got a nice helmet. There. Now I can see what's behind me. But if you're up against a wall like this, then you can't. He didn't drop anything. What are we supposed to be doing in here? Looks like there's a quest and a territory thing. We'll knock that out. I don't want that. I'll take this again. Oh, somebody just ran by us. We'll take these. We're almost up to 100. That'll be nice. We'll unlock a little more carrying capacity and more damage, which everybody likes. But we're not there yet. Well, let's see. I want to go up there. I just want to look there. Even those. Oh, what are we? Up? It's a whole. This is a great castle. It's better than some of the cities. Well, all these guys are upset. 
they actually did, did a decent amount of damage to me. Oh, and you know what I'll have to use? I'll even have to use some well-fed food, well -fed food there. Oh, look at that pikeman. How much experience are we getting? 13 and 13. So it matches up the 13 experience on our... I never really paid attention to that before. But um, the 13 experience we get for our level also goes... For the uh, weapon that we have out. If it's not level 20, you'll actually get... I just want there to be some chests up here. I'm going to use the berserk mode here. Not bad, and it should heal us. There's there's the heal. So we end up, at the end of that fight, back at full health. Oh, didn't we heal? Didn't we take care of that guy? Ooh, an archer up on top. That's nice. Pretty simple, nothing fancy there with the hatchet. There. Oh, he's an elite. See how that, the pattern around him? And of course, he's guarding the good chest. We're going to open with this one. Oh, and he's got a... Oh, see, uh, that's why I want to improve the, the Berserker mode. If you get it improved, it, when he hit me like that, I wouldn't even have taken that stagger. And if you get 300 um, health, or not 300 health, 300 uh, strength, you'll have grit through all of, your, all of your attacks, both heavy and light, and you won't have to... Uh, Worry about that kind of stuff. You'll you won't get staggered nearly as often. Occasionally, one will slip through, but not that. So it was worth coming up here. We've got one of the good chests. There might be another good chest on the other side. And I've never been here. I don't mind looking around. This is a really well done castle, and it's just out in the middle of nowhere. This is this is better than some of the big towns. Oh, look at this guy. We're just going to go right into Berserker mode. Oh, and he doesn't have a shield. He missed that. There's a swipe. He might be a named... Uh, his name was Baldwin. I don't know if that's a special name or a type, but seemed to be a named boss. Mini boss. What did we get out of there? Oh, we'll take care of this. Potion pouch three of those and it put it put it over there so we can use a lot of potions here's a recipe that'll increase our mining luck um we'll have to get our that's with boiled potatoes so if we find potatoes mix them up i think probably with some butter and salt which is hard to get Ooh, a stone care An interesting little uh decoration there and let's get rid of this uh Although it's nice, and that's a nice item as well, and this is a nice, that's an okay item. Oh, the healing tomb is better. Now what do we get here? Plus 10 strength. Let's see what this looks like. Um, it's a little bit better armor rating against elemental. Physical is a little a considerable less. Let's see. We'll put it on. No. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Heavy. We'll save it just for later. And this looks so bad that we're just going to get rid of it right now. Oh, this one's uh, pretty serious. We'll put it on just take a look at it. But that's what that other guy was wearing. That makes me look like I'm a very serious person. We're going to save that for our Eventual run into Amran. Excavation. And of course, while I was paying attention to all that stuff, I wasn't a, I wasn't paying attention to where we were going. We're on the next side. No worries. We're gonna knock this guy out. We're gonna grab that chest over there in the right corner. I see it glowing. This is Corbenic Castle. Interesting. Oh, he has my helmet on. Oh, 
Okay. Now there's two guys here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the roar. Oh, he's that is awesome. He's actually preparing to dump dump boiling lava on me. But instead, look at what, oh, look at that. So you run up there. I wonder if he actually dumps it if you don't kill him. I wouldn't like to be. That's where we came in. I didn't really mean to jump all the way over. We'll get away from that guy. Oh, there's the boiling oil. Oh my god. Now I killed him. That wasn't very nice at all. I got distracted. I was like, what are these little things? And then I looked up there. And it did damage to me. We've already been up there. Uh-oh. Did he see me? No. Well, he saw me. He just didn't want to, want to battle. Uh-oh. Oh, we've done that before. We've unlocked a thing of some. What? Is, the, is he down there? No. What you can do is we zoomed in. Hmm. Maybe it's saying, come, I don't know, it's pointing right down there. We're going to knock this guy out real quick. He had a rape, a rapier? Oh, look at that. Let's not get hit by a second cauldron of boiling. This must be where the guy... Our target spawns. Let's actually do some reading on this. Lost Legacy. Collect the staff of the Minister Lochner. Summoner of the Lost. Maybe it wants me to go in there? I don't think we had... I thought we had to unlock it, but you never know. Oh, we're just going to use it. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to get hit. Ah, fool me once. Well, this is quite an amazing castle. I don't know why they did, did the thing where you have to enter like that. That's kind of odd. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me. You barely missed me. Where is he going? He's going somewhere interesting. I'm going to follow him. We're both level 20. No. Aha! Okay. That's something. I better sprint ahead in case there's a, a fight up here. Don't want him to... Oh! Is there a fight going on? It looks like we both did the same thing. Oh, there's an exit. We're both looking for the new uh, defeat, Sir Gwen. Oh, here he is. Wow, he had some kind of a. We're gonna go into berserker mode. It's actually nice that we have a. Uh... This is kind of a. Oh, he's uh, being very defensive now. I was doing damage. There we go. Oh boy. Immune. We'll knock these. There we go. Now he's not immune. Interesting fight. I was still doing a little bit of damage to him, but not much. And I was like, what's going on here? Oh, we're going to bust this open. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, this thing. The great axe. But that looks... Oh, I'm in combat. And I'm still in combat. 
a look on the map. It looks like we can escape. Let's take a look at this new Great Axe. Um, we're going to get it out. We'll zoom in to look a little bit closer. That looks pretty cool. We'll even do this. Very, very cool. And it's a neat area. So, that said, we're going to zoom back out. I don't want to use the Great Axe, but that's nice. Oh, wow. Trenchant Rend. Fully charged heavy attacks inflict a rend for seven seconds. Damage absorption by eight points, so you can make them easier to hit. Um, we're going to keep this, but it's not... Uh, I think they're going to add the ability to add um, transmog, which is uh, you can change the look of your gear, so... I don't think I'll ever be able to get that particular weapon again, so I'll save it for later. Might end up with a whole storage shed full of weird-looking items. And we'll get out of here. Oh, mate. oh did we go really far? We did go really far. But we'll berserk right back in. And what does it want us to do? Make the Pestilence Minister Lochner pay. We got those two. Collect staff of Lochner. So there's some kind of guy named Lochner. We're just going to run... Oh. We're going to get a bunch of people upset at us here. They're going to run and... Oh. Mr. Iron Strikes is doing things. There's Lochner. Unfortunately, oh, We made it in time to get the last hit on him. We're going to collect his item. And this guy did not do that, so he's going to have to wait. There's, we got Lochner's staff. We barely made it in time. But everything's set. Now we're going to run back out. Very easy. We're going to hop right over this wall. Not get hit by the Cauldron of Doom. And we're going to run right back out. Pretty simple. And because that was a that was kind of like an all-in-one encompassing event. Um, the Corbenic Castle. But what we could do... I think I've been holding my breath since you departed. Or at least it feels that way. Tell me, did you defeat Sir Gawain and destroy Lochnir's infernal staff? Oh, well, I could tell you that I did. Praise to whatever gods are at your back. I feel like I'm waking from a long nightmare. My thrill at learning of the true heir's return was only matched by the horror of learning what he had become. Interesting. Oh, and that was the... After this, perhaps we should consider abandoning this obsession with restoring the royal bloodline. We can't return the circlet of swords to Tirnan Keep anyhow. I think we should return it to Pridewin. Okay. Yes. Though Jay is bound by her duty. Yes. We'll Ooh, speak to this? the people. We'll tell them the truth about Lochnir and the heir. I don't think I'll be using that. The crown deserves to be worn by a noble ruler. So, a ruler like we just got another quest. No worries there. And... Oh, well, we don't have to go over to this fort. This is a quite a big island. And they want us to go back there. So, we will. But... Top of that, we'll take a look this way. This seems like an interesting episode where it's just this Corbonic uh, fort or castle, and it's a great wrap up. And then we can go back to the next episode. We'll go back to town, get more things done, 
And that way we won't do hour-long episodes. We can do a 35-minute episode of just a one encompassing thing. And this just turns out to be a, a pretty good ending point for this uh, episode six, I believe. It's been a lot of fun. I really, uh, I'm, I'm having a blast. I'm having fun going through all these areas. Uh, I didn't expect this castle to be that much fun. It was neat. The cauldrons were dumping on us. Uh, all kinds of things. So thanks again. Enjoy. And uh, oh, uh, um, if you can subscribe or uh, push the like button and or comment, let me know what I'm doing right or wrong because uh, feedback on it, like on anything, is great. Enjoy and have a great day.